All right, well, good morning and welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. And uh, today we're gonna go ahead and get started back on the Thunderbird. I know we're bouncing around a lot, but that's okay. Um, we can do that. Um, but we're gonna get back on the Thunderbird uh, and I wanna get the trunk lid on. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is get in here and take a look at where we're at and what we gotta do, all right? So let's get it done. All right, so to start this party off, I have to get the uh, cut and buff done on the deck lid. So as you can see here, I've already started the process. Uh, this, is, uh, this has been sanded down with 2000 grit. And uh, so I just got uh, 3000 grit to go and uh, we'll buff it out. So, so once I get this, then we'll go ahead and we'll come over here. We got to get the hinges on, the torsion bar things in there, which really stinks. That was no fun getting out. Uh, I need to get the drain. You can see down here, well, there's some drain tubes that go where the, the fresh air vents go. We got to get those in. Uh, of course, all the latching, you know, down here, we got to get all the latching mechanisms in. Um, got to get all that. Uh, <clears throat> so there's a few things that need to be done in here. Um, you know, besides just bolting, you know, the, uh, trunk lid on here. So we gotta, we gotta get all this tightened up still. Uh, anyways, everything's looking really good though. All right guys. So we're, uh, just, we're sitting here. We got our trunk hinges uh, ready to go. So let's go ahead and get them loosely installed. Um, Cause we got a lot of adjustments gonna happen once we get the, uh, the lid on here. So let's get them in and get them loosely installed. got it and you can see we can adjust it up and down so that's about as far as we're gonna get until we get to, we get to hook, get it on here so let's get the other side so you can see we got both both of them on uh, they're both loose loose enough to move around and uh, waiting on our trunk lid so next, we're gonna get these drain boots. And these, they go, they drain the uh, vent area here down below the car. And so they go on like this and they go, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's, there's a hole right here that this will go into. And then there's some holes in the boot there all the way around to screw it down into the uh, into the frame so or into the body so we're going to I'm gonna put them up we get clamped the one I had on mine they were both just about completely gone so I ordered some new ones most of what I get uh, comes from bird's nest uh, they seem to have a pretty pretty good selection. Uh, you have Bird's Nest, you have Thunderbird Headquarters. Uh, I don't know, there's, there's a, two or three others um, to, to search from. But if you just type in your year Thunderbird and uh, parts, and they all come up. So, let's see, that needs to go like that. 
Alright, so let's get that on there. Tighten it up a little bit. Alright, let's get it on. Just got it tightened up and screw down the bottom. We're getting there. We're just a little tiny, guys. Just chilling in the trunk. Two in. Three, other side. Okay, well there you go. They are fully installed. And they just let the water that gets into here drain out the bottom of the car. All right, so, so far we got the hinges on and we got the uh, vent drains on. All right, so bring it back in, we got the panel's completely cut down with 1500 grit and I've already polished a section here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring these grits up so I'm gonna hit it with uh, let's see where I'm at 1500 so I got 2000 and then I'm gonna hit it with 3000 and then I'll buff it so I'll get you back in here once I'm done with the final sanding and I'm ready to buff okay so I've got this section right here all up down and sanded down to the 3000 grit. So I'm going to go ahead and buff this area uh, just, just to make sure I got it right because I've had so much problems with scratches getting deeper in this and you know buffing it and then those scratches are there. So let me hit this and if it comes out and I'm happy with it, we'll just, we'll just repeat. All right. Blew it out. Well, all right. Okay, that's not bad for the first pass. <clears throat> first pass. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish out this, uh, this test section here, and I'll bring you back in when I got it, but first pass on that went pretty good. I think it'll buff out, so I just destroyed my wool pad. <laughs> Why not, right? All right, let's get it done. Okay, got you back in here. Uh, both of those panels now are brought back up to 3000 grit. I am ready to get some buffing on these uh, here. And before I do that though, uh, I need to come out here and I need to finish some wet sanding along the below the window there. And I need to do a, another buff right here along the uh, sides, on both sides, as well as the top. Because tomorrow, I've got, uh, I got it lined up to have somebody come help me uh, put the trunk lid on here. I'd also like to uh, say thanks to not only a person, but uh, a group of people, um, a profession really. So, uh, most of you, I mean, if you've watched the channel for any length of time, you know I've, um, both my mother and my mother-in-law 
uh, are, uh, you know, battling Alzheimer's. So we have to have people come to the house because it's just the way Alzheimer's is. Uh, uh, at least it has been for, for my, my, both my parents, uh, you know, my, both my mother and my mother-in-law. It's just, it's hard to get them to a doctor, much less get out of the house. Um, so thank you, Jonathan, uh, for coming out and doing the physical therapy. Uh, I mean, you have no idea how much that helps us. Now, granted, you're walking into a hostile environment most of the time because most of the patients that you go to see in their home, they just don't want you there. Um, but not all of them. But uh, Jonathan and all the other medical professionals that travel around in their cars and go to people's homes and help people either get better uh you know, from an injury or help them, you know, regain their strength and balance and endurance to get back out there uh, in the world. And, you know, I, I can't even tell you how much it means to me and my family. And I'm sure it means that much to, to all the other families that you guys help. So special thanks to Jonathan. And oh, by the way, Jonathan is a, a viewer. He's watched, I don't know, probably a few videos and he was very interested in I was, I was very busy and I knew he had to get his job done. So I didn't get to spend as much time with him as I'd like, but Jonathan, you're always welcome. Come on by. Um, you want to check everything out. You're more than welcome. Uh, all right. Thanks guys. Uh, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Uh, when I am ready to put the uh, trunk lid on. All right. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm just chilling here in the trunk. Nothing better to do. Nah. I uh, I got to get these torsion bar thingy, spring thingies in. So I need to try and see if I can get you guys in here and help you understand how this works. So let's give it a try. Okay, so. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. All right, so. Ow, everything's falling. All right, you see this right here? Okay, so that's really important. That's where this part here goes. Okay, so when you look at the spring, you got this right here, okay? And that's gonna lock that from twisting, okay? That's where your spring tension is gonna come from. And then this piece right here goes up and slides into this right here, okay? And then it jogs up a little bit, but you can, you can see right there so you want to slide it in there and then this you're going to bring up and lock it into that so let's let me uh let me get it in there because there's no way i'm going to be able to do that and hold you guys into this tight spot so you can see it okay but i just wanted to walk you through that this is going to go i can't it's going to go all right you can see it there and we're going to just maybe i can So you got to deal with the other end. I can't, there we go. All right, you see it going in there. All right, now it's now it's in there. And then I want to bring that up, and that'll go to it. But first, I need this to go all the way up, up into there. Can't get it. I can't get it. <laughs> Anyway, I think you guys are getting the, the picture here. Once you get this in there, like, okay, this is in there right now, but I just haven't been able to get it to go up all the way and then back that way. And once that locks into place, then you can get this locked up to it. And then, and then once you got that, then we'll go to the other end and get that end in, okay? All right, so you got that? Clear as mud, right? All right. <laughs> Okay, so you can see up here, 
we got it in and it's locked in and then you can't really see underneath here but i've got that piece that was i was showing you is now locked on top onto this okay and then now we address the other side okay so you can see here right here is the that bar and it runs right here all the other side which we just showed you so now we're on this side and this is where all the spring action happens so what I got to do is I got to pull this this here down until it gets into one of those slots see I'm right there and mine was set in this first slot so it is it is really really tight so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get this on there to give me a little bit of leverage and pull it around to this first notch. It is gonna be very difficult and I would consider it to me to be dangerous. So, uh, so you guys are like, please film it. <laughs> uh, if I can figure out a way to get the camera set, I'll film it. <laughs> All right. All right. Just remember guys, I'm doing this for you. That's a lot of pressure. And I'm not even close to where I need to be. I just hope that the socket's a good strong socket and it doesn't split out on me. I've double checked, everything's where it's supposed to be. Can you guys tell I'm a little bit nervous about this? Okay, I'm back. Uh, just doing a little bit of uh, research before I kill myself. Uh, so these hinges have to be, push them all the way to the up position. And do you see how much closer that this got? Instead of it being way back here, it's now right here. So pulling it from there to here is not gonna be near as scary as so it's gotta be locked. There's a there's a, a groove up in here. There's a groove up here that it has to be locked in as well. Alright. Let me get you back up there. Alright. Now, so we got it locked in there. I know it's locked in on the other side. Both hinges are all the way up. And I've got my socket. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Socket, get up in there. Why won't you go up in there? There it goes. I got it. I know it sounded like I probably got hurt, but I almost did. It got my finger when it snapped in, when it snapped in, but it, it didn't get me that bad. Okay. So this hinge here, as you can see, is not got any spring tension on it, but now the other one is. So now what that means is we've got two of these things we got to do. So now we got to go the opposite direction. So we got to get the other one in here and get it locked into our little piece right here and then do the same thing on the other side all right so that said this has to go in there and then we got to get it locked into this There we go. Come on, it's not in. Is it in? Well, I guess it is in. Okay. All right, so that is in, but it is not in the groove at the top. So.
And we gotta make sure these things are in all their grooves and, and this one is in the groove now. Okay, so this one's good. So we're set. We're good underneath here. We're good up in here. And now I'm gonna get that one in and that one seems worse. Okay, all right, let's get the other side. Okay, you guys. in the groove up there now we just got to pull this one this one's farther away that one was scary enough oh that one's tighter that's not fair <laughs> that's not fair uh, that first one was scary and this wasn't as tight as this one why is this one tighter you would think they'd be the same. Oh, come on. Oh, how did that come out? No. I mean, I got to take that out? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, how did that happen? See the thing here? Doo -doo -doo. That's supposed to be supposed to be locked up on onto that other side and it came out while we were doing that so I gotta I gotta take the other side out dang it one second okay guys I got that taken care of it slipped out but um, I just pulled that tension bar off the other side got this reset put it back on and now we're getting to the point now where we are ready to put this one in Now that one is in the spot up there. I, I, you know, it's, I'm hoping you can see it. I think you can see most of it, but anyway, now I got to get this one pulled. Oh, I hate this. I'm never doing a Thunderbird again, okay? You guys hold me to that. <laughs> or I'll, from, I'll come up with a different trunk hinge wow that's really tight it's not that I can I can't pull it it's just I'm scared to <laughs> it hurt my finger on that last one it's still got a dent in it I don't know if you can see it or not it yeah you can see it it's got a dent in it <laughs> it hurt man oh man oh man all right let's Sorry. You guys okay, right? I didn't mean to drop you. I got it. Wow, that was tight. Ow. Guys, the things I'm doing for you, all right? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Oh boy. All right, guys. So, we got it. Okay, there's one hinge. And there's the other. And now we have our pressure against them. Okay. Now I just need everything set up to put the trunk trunk lid on. Okay, so let's uh, let me get everything out and get everything ready for this trunk lid. 
All right, guys, so looks to me like before we put this on, it's gonna be a whole lot easier to get the, uh, the trim piece back here uh, on. So let me get that done. Well, come on. <laughs> well. side to side. I know that. I just don't know the height. <laughs> this isn't supposed to be harder than the hinges. bring you guys back in when I got this in and I'm gonna suffer in silence okay Ooh, got them all in and that ah, was nothing it was easy at least it always looks easy when it's done off camera uh, here's a little alignment tool thanks to dad saying why don't you here's a all <laughs> and uh, I was able to find the holes and line up that way so Okay, so we got first piece of trim in permanently. And uh, yes, I will clean it up. I know I got my muggy fingerprints all over it, but it'll get cleaned up. All right, so moving on to the next thing. Uh, well, I guess the next thing would be the uh, deck lid. Oh, you know what? I need to at least get the uh, rubber seal placed in here before the uh, deck lid goes on or that'll be fun to get that on. Let me get that. Okay, so we got our weather stripping for the trunk. And near as I can tell, this has this groove opening right here. That goes there. And then this gets pushed down in there. So that, see that? There you go. There you go. And we'll just put a little bit of sealant down in this in this trench right here. And we'll just work our way around. Okay. Let's get you in here. Let you see where I'm at. We're sealed all the way up to here. So we'll work across that top there and work our way around. But comes out good. Looks nice. All right. We're going to go ahead and get... Get the uh, trunk lid on. You got it sitting here, you see that? And we're about ready over here, so I got dad in place to start bolts. So, and then we got a, we got somebody who came by to help out. Lurch, or Matt, whichever you wanna call him. Andre the Giant, I don't know. <laughs> but let's just move up. There he is. <laughs> Look, we got all kinds of help. <laughs> It's like a party over here in exit 45. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this on. Okay, so 
all that messing around and playing around we got it up installed but not completely there's a lot of adjustment we need to get done yet uh, we're having a problem over here with one of the uh, threads not going all the way in we're just really on the verge of breaking the nut in there we don't want to do that so we're just trying to be very careful so we got that you can see we got the seal ran most of the way I haven't finished that uh, we got it most of the way but not all of it but we got it on we got our trim piece here so we got quite a bit done but we're gonna have to wrap it up here I don't have any more time this week uh, I've got to wrap it up and I'm done for tonight I gotta take my dad back so we're gonna we're gonna head over there and then I got to go back to work tomorrow so uh, this will be it for this week and uh, we're just gonna pick it right up where we left off. I'll come back in here and we're gonna go ahead and finish tightening up this this hood, or trunk rather. Uh, we got the latch up here. We need to get that on. We got the lack, and me lack mechanism back here. We got the bumper still needs to be adjusted to match the deck lid. But we got to get the deck lid fully installed. So we got a lot of playing around to do back here to get all this working where we want it, but it looks really good. I like it because the car is starting to look like a car. So anyway, uh, special thanks to the big guy, Matt, for coming over. Uh, that is my daughter's boyfriend, and uh, he's been waiting on me to get this ready for him to come over and help. I appreciate his help. He makes it look easy because he's like, you know, big and strong. <laughs> uh, anyway. That's it, guys. We're going to wrap this one up, and uh, I appreciate everybody watching and coming, coming in and seeing what's going on in the shop, and uh, we'll get you next week, all right?